How do I get out of paying spousal support? Hi, I'm Alicia Kinchlow, the attorney and founder behind Kinchlow Law, a family law practice and estate planning practice based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, so your spouse has filed a claim for spousal support and you don't feel like you should have to pay. And most of that is because you feel they caused the breakup of your marriage. There are certain affirmative defenses that you can claim to keep you from having to pay spousal support. Now, spousal support is an entitlement that the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania feels you have to pay in general because married persons are expected to be responsible for the support of each other. Again, this is an entitlement, but there again are defenses. So in certain situations, um, you can prove that if your spouse committed one of the things that we're going to talk about today, you will not have to pay. So let's start with the first one. The first one is the non-consensual voluntary withdrawal from the marital house by one of the spouses without adequate legal cause. All right, adequate legal cause is determined on a case-by-case -case basis, and it's really just having some good reason for leaving the house. The next affirmative defense is going to be anything under the fault grounds. In Pennsylvania, you can seek a divorce by alleging and proving that the other spouse has committed one of these faults. So some of these faults include willful and malicious desertion of the innocent spouse from the marital residence for more than one year. All right, so innocent is going to be used a couple of times in our video today because the courts want you to also have clean hands. You can't go do what you want to do and then argue that the other spouse is doing something and not paying spousal support. All right, the second thing is going to be adultery, and that kind of speaks for itself, but you want to look at what you need to be able to prove your claim is not as easy as you think. Text messages may not suffice. Bigamy, it's kind of clear on that one. Cruel and barbaric misconduct. So this is kind of where physical, emotional, psychological abuse falls. So if any of those things are occurring and you can prove them at the level the court wants you to prove them at, then that could be another reason to not have to pay spousal support. Incarceration for two years or more is also a reason um, that falls under the fall grounds. And then indignities. So indignities are those things that basically make it hard for you to live together. Some of the things that we've seen are just kind of mistreatment, um, alcoholism, uh, just being a spendthrift, wasting the money, gambling. Those are some things that might fall under indignities. Again, they have to be proven by clear and convincing evidence and you have to usually present these at a hearing if the other party is not going to acquiesce to them. And they probably won't. Another defense to spouse support is cohabitation. And that kind of makes sense, right? You should not be forced as a paying spouse to pay for your spouse and their new relationship. So cohabitation is another reason why you not may not be responsible for paying spousal support. Now, be clear that spousal support is just one form of support. There's also APL or alimony pendente lite, and there's also alimony, which happens after the divorce decree. Just because a spouse may not be entitled to spousal support does not necessarily mean that they may not be entitled for another reason for APL or alimony. So you want to be very careful when you're looking at these things and remembering what these affirmative defenses are helping you with. Another one, the final one we're going to talk about today is marital misconduct. And so what we talked about before being an innocent spouse, this one, the courts may look at whether or not the marital misconduct by one party was greater than the other. And so where there was marital misconduct by both parties, the court may still order um, spouse support to be paid. So again, these are all some of the affirmative defenses or most of the affirmative defenses that you can claim to prevent you from having to, pay, having to pay spouse support, you absolutely want to talk to an attorney licensed in your jurisdiction about the facts specific to your case. These videos are not legal advice. They're for informational purposes only. And an attorney that's licensed in your area who's heard the facts of your case can give you insight about what you need to prove these things and perhaps prevent you from paying spouse support. All right. Until next time, take care.